Yes, sir. So we out here in SC. Stitch by Sleep old location. Holler at the homie Tate Whips. See what he got going on out here. Let, let him tell y'all about his YouTube channel and everything. Oh, there go the cuts. Right there. Here go the homie right here. What up, dog? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sir. Appreciate, Appreciate the invite, you. man. I'm gonna go yeah, ahead. Know. Let you tell them about your YouTube channel real quick, man. Man, what's up, man? It's your boy Tay Whips. Uh, I'm running a YouTube channel. We call it 803 Whip Games, right. man. Basically, we just bringing y'all little Some track footage, little car show footage, Some little that. behind the scenes footage. Some of that South Carolina. You know. Just we'll give y'all a little 803 flavor, man. Yeah, man. Let y'all know how we do it in the Carolinas, man. Cause y'all already know they got whips everywhere, especially in SC, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put the up in the air. You can see all last night's work. We've done a uh, full keyless suspension in the front. Put a Ford 8-8 rear end in the back. Woo! Get the 7-inch rear end fit. Yeah, I see. Got an LS3 with a 6-speed transmission. Too many of these done either. Yeah, they are nice. We're going with the gold the color inside of the engine bay we're going with. Okay. Gold with the flip pop in it. Yeah. Got a six speed automatic in it, which you had to make extra room in the tunnel, bigger. Get the exhaust done, Ford 9 inch. Or Ford 8 8 rear end. Okay. That's a pass traction disc brake rear end. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, this. This is nice. This is a no power steering, no power brake car when it came in. Damn. It's a, it's a base yeah. model. Right, y'all had to add everything. I mean, you add that when you swap something anyway, basically brand new or? Well, this one we did the whole new tubeless suspension on it. Yeah. So that put the disc brake, I had drum brakes all the way around. Oh, damn. Yeah, it was drum all the way. It was, it was scary. Right. It 3D3 in it when it came in, it was scary to drive. It would not stop. Uh. We got the X-Pines, we good on, we good on exhaust. Right, I know y'all do it all up here. Ain't probably ain't gotta go nowhere. Well. And this is LS362, right? Yep. Yeah. Pull up. You guys built this? Yeah, we built this one? Nah, it was a, we just need to take it out. Okay. Yeah, we built this one. Pretty good. Uh, what you can't see in here. Special flare. The thing dances. I see. <laughs> you go from a champagne to a root beer. Damn. To sunlight. Damn. So he's getting the whole car painted too, obviously. What's that? He's getting the whole car repainted too, obviously. Yeah. Just about done. Nice. Too many, every part gets pretty much custom ordered. Once or twice to get the right part. Headers were three times. If I had to go with shorty, nothing else fit with the steering box over there. I hate running shorty. And that's Don't all choice. it is. That's all it. That's all he got to go with. Right. Just that's a 68 Ford Coyote D4 supercharger. Um, electric power steering. Vintage air conditioning. Uh, custom box over there on the side. He smoothed the firewall in the back. Um, body shop smooth the fenders, inner fenders. And what year is this one? 68. 68. Just finished the tub in the back. Wow. Damn, so what size is he going? 12 inch wide ears. Man. A little bit left to do on the tub work. It's got wheel width front, it's got a crown, big front suspension, four link rear, eight eight four link rear. Oh wow, it's already done. Custom exhaust. He wants a side extra pipe. Watch your leg, watch your leg. 
We got the batteries up under the bed, the kill switch inside the cab, the, the main kill like the race car. Oh, damn. You can't get to the battery easily, so it's after you actually want to swing down and it swings down, so you take the battery out and hold it. <laughs> That's been three days making that shit. I bet. <laughs> Sounds intricate. But we got jump post up here, you know, just sort of accommodating everything you get going oh, on. Nice. Damn. Um, a cold air box. We actually cut a hole up here, screened it so it gets fresh air intake. I can't stand to see the air filter sitting in the open. It's just one of my favorite things. <laughs> so you did one of these for every car you can? Yes, the Snoop Dogg has one. This car. This is a nice looking motor, boy. Yes, nice. How much power does this get? How much power does this get? Like, uh, like 550, 570,000. Not bad. Depends on how big a pulley they put on it. It's a... Uh, It'll be a, a tire fryer. Quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a 62 LS. We've already fitted the motor. Um, got the motor out and put the cam shaft in it. We're going to put the cam in it. We'll sit it in the back end. It's going to get lowered. We're going to drop it back down. So we do a bunch of firewall repair. Somebody's gone in and cut a big hole in the firewall. Um, so we can weld the firewall up and repair some rust damage under the firewall. They take the whole front end off, put it back on. Damn, go on. Extra time. It's supposed to be a quick build, and it turned into a project. Real build, right. You could, you could reach your hand in there, in, this, in the water in this area up here. This area here, you could reach your hand and grab the big gas pedal. So what? All, that, all, that, all that was rotted out in there. We went in and put oh, fiberglass. Yeah, but, you couldn't um, let them leak like that. But no. like that. The last person, they cut a big huge hole in the firewall and stuck a hump or full. Harnessing the fuse up. box for a 454 engine, they cut a hole in the firewall and just stuffed it through the hole and left the hole big. They had the whole wiring harness from the 454 in the, had to even the key switch was underneath the dash. You had to reach under the dash and turn the key to crank it. Oh, he yeah, had that type of, that type <laughs> of ignition going on. Yeah, it was something crazy. Yeah, we started taking it apart and we were like, what? <laughs> like dually wiring harness in the car. On top of the factory wiring harness that was still in the car. They didn't take, take anything out, they just added the whole car. So it's been a little bigger problem than what we envisioned. Damn. Thank God. <laughs> Those are going on the green box out there. Okay. What up now? Hey, Cole. Hey, yeah, yo. man. How you doing? All right. Hey, I got to get my son to help you. They swap this one. Yeah. They wait on pull the pulley kit. Boss, they're less. Price done went up on these things, boy. Come on. Okay. I'm take a come off with pulley kits on the way. So. What the hell? <laughs> That's what that is, guys. That's got an LS in it. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I'm like, <laughs> is that what's going is that is the LS going in the um, BMW that's in there too? No, okay. We got an X3 out there, we're gonna do the LS. Wow. It's two-wheel drive. We took all the four-wheel drive stuff out, just a rear-wheel drive, five, three with a foil. <laughs> so you can do donuts and everything in it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we gotta do a final frame notch, a little bit of header clearance on this one. We gotta pull the motor back out one more time. Are you kidding Make me? a little bit of room in the frame. Got them long tools on this one. Yeah. Big long tool. That's a 6-0 where it came in. Right. I'm about to ask what's that 6-0. Nice. Wow. This was an Econo build. We just sort of Bought a $400 wreck Tahoe, a $300 blown engine X5. Yeah. Get about two grand in the whole project. What the hell? <laughs> nice. Did the harness ourselves, built every, did most of almost everything. We did everything ourselves. Got that box. Nice. nice. Just little fun things we like to do. I love the sound though. The sound tripped me out.
That's crazy. What the hell kind of pipes you got going on down there? Factory. Well, actually, we put uh, flow masters on the back of it. Okay. Did that last week. You had factory muffers. It was too uh, quiet. Okay. Yeah. He said. Put some little flow. We got a little shorty flow masters. Both got almost the same identical. He's got a full race U and I suspension um, with the Viking coilovers. He's running the street U and I suspension with uh, a QA1 coilovers. Both have rooty wheels. Uh, pretty much identical build. We took the harness on both of them. We did build the drivetrain for his car. Both of them been tubbed and narrowed in the frame, been narrowed, tubbed out. Oh, wow. Um, both have 10 inch wide wheels on the back, so. Dang. Almost like a matching pair of different cars. All right. <laughs> she bought it, though. She bought it, though. Yep, she bought it. Both of them getting ready to wait on paint. Both of them in line to go to Queen's Customs next. So, did you shorten the rear end at all, or you just no, notched? Yeah, just stock rear end side. You notched the frame, all right? Notched the frame and tubbed it. Yeah, it's got that on. Pull them outside. Oh, yeah, I see it. Mm-hmm. Damn, tub. They put the 10 inch in the G bike, but all I can do without back. Yeah, right. A whole lot of space back there. So he tub too? Yeah. Yeah. Just the second one we did. Each one looks a little better than the last one. <laughs> right, that's cool. That's how it's supposed to be, though. Until you get it down pat. But the, the stance like, it is crazy on both of these, though. Yeah, this one's sitting a little flatter, but this one's got a little bit of gangster wing on it. <laughs> oh, damn. Now, we don't have the, both of these have the um, different valve covers on. Once yeah. they're painted, we'll put the pretty valve covers on. Like right. Air on. So, what's this right here? That's for a 350. With a stock cam and a. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm like, bro, ain't no damn way. 350 with a stock cam. Damn. It's a mild build. Yeah. Um, mild of damn. It's got a pulley kit, set of heads on it. It's got a Elbrock power kit. That was up here. All up. <laughs> so we just did a few minor upgrades on it. He's got new air cleaner valve covers coming as well. But did a pulley kit, um, radiator, headers. That pulley kit really. Add some cleanness though. Yeah, yeah, it does. But this is this is, it looked like a clean, strong setup though. Yeah, it's good. It came in already. We didn't do any work on the motor. We just um, took the wiring harness on it so it had most of the wires. And did the suspension work? Yeah, did all the all the suspension. Y'all paint them too? Um, just going to the paint shop next. It's it's mine. For He's got all the new body panels. Too. Oh damn! Okay. He's new. He's got new doors, new fenders, new hoods, new front end. Damn. We got some rust going on or something? <laughs> Teasing that thing. Yes, sir. That's my baby right here. How long you had it? About two and a half years. That ain't nothing. Yeah, that's Go over once. You bought it. I bought it just because it was a 442 Cutlass. It didn't even have an original motor in it or nothing. I just liked it, the body, the T-tops. I always been a Cutlass fan. So I grabbed it, drove it. Dude had said he just ran through the motor. I drove it. Yeah, Parked it, put a piece of cardboard under, seen it was leaking, bought it to him, and shit. It's been here since. Getting built. Spent a year at the paint shop. You know, he could have done it fast, but I'm right here local, so I wouldn't, I'm, I'm told to him, take your time with it. Yeah. Kind of just pull over. We start with the motor. We start with the motor. We did the frame, had him sandblast the frame, paint the frame. Damn. 
So you went to the mode, out. and then I kind of start really, really getting into the cars on YouTube, kind of, you know, seeing how you can really run through them and, you know, go through everything. So I start ordering all the internals, sent the, sent the block to the machine shop, got it, you know what I'm saying? It's good to come ground up, man. Yeah, start out as a stock build. <laughs> yeah. Damn. We're far from that point now. <laughs> Definitely. Talking about the stance on this thing, crazy. Crazy. I gotta get my stance like that. And he came to me, it was a, I just, the motor was in bad shape. A bunch of bad bearings tore up in it. Target motor, rebuilt motor already, so we, he said, what, 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 what I can do go faster? <laughs> All right. Start with heads. So next thing you know, he buys the head kit. Three sizes bigger than I told him to. <laughs> so then we had to build the chain mission a little stronger. And then we had to, after we drove the first time, the stall converter wasn't big enough. So we had to put more stall in it. So Stall got that adding up. <laughs> Quick. Don't stall. Go, uh, I think I'm gonna go uh, the fuel inject the carbon right on it. I think I'm gonna go with like the EFI setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That what I, I my, mean, my like, um, like, I, like, cause messing with them cutouts, I think it kind of be throwing the carburetor off when you opening and closing them.